were cycling across Europe to Africa, we had reached the Gambia when borders all around the world closed. Almost a year later, when there still was no sign of them opening anytime soon, we decided to fly to East Africa to continue our world tour. But first, we flew home to Finland to repack and change our bikes. Yeah, we haven't seen snow in three years, it's amazing to see! <laughs> when I was putting the rear wheel on, I noticed the dropout is totally bended. But luckily, we were going to swap our bikes anyway. We get many questions about belt drives and internal gearing systems, so we wanted to try these on our world tour and share our first-hand feedback. Tutera was in on the idea and lent us one pinion bike and one rollo bike to try them out side by side. Oh. Okay. Oh, that means I need to pass it to work with them. Oh. 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 Thank you, Malte. Ready for Africa? Yeah. It's the final goal for our plane to Istanbul, but we still don't know if the bikes will fit on the plane or not. And now the airline just told us they have lost our bikes already <laughs> before we even boarded the plane. <laughs> just in the airport. So they are trying to fetch our bags or other check-in luggage for the plane and we will probably go to Nairobi another day. Seats? I don't know. Covid test is expiring. Turkish Airlines found our bikes but the boxes were too big to fit on this plane. We have confirmed the size of the bicycles with the airline. Why about that? They even checked our bikes. They couldn't put them on the plane. Security checked. This is never ending. And we haven't even started to argue with the airline yet. We need to ask for a compensation from Brussels Airlines for one of our old bicycles which they broke down and yeah. And now for this mess. Like a Covid test here cost 600 euro for both of us. And taxi back from here and all this mess is just not nice. Everything back again. We weren't going to say put. It was one of the coldest and most beautiful winters in a long time and we wanted to make the most of it. So we repacked and changed to studded tires, preparing our journey to the Arctic in the middle of winter. Then, when borders start opening up again, we can continue our tour in other parts of the world. Amazing. Amazing weather, really. We are in the central park of Helsinki. I can't even hear one car. This kind of winter, because of global warming, has been pretty rare in South Finland, especially. Can't wait to put these winter tires and, and get on the bicycle and off to the Arctic and north. We miss Gambia and everything, people, our garden, animals. We gave all the birds to our friend Mor, who sent us some videos from the garden. The chickens are growing, growing well now, you see. Yeah, everywhere they are here, but you see the ducklings, they are big now. They are starting big there, you see them. They start, you see, they have a black and white color. Banzu, uh, good? Banzu. It's amazing also to be here, especially when it is snowed. It's nice to see a good winter because it's not that common anymore.
Apparently Helsinki Keskusta. Digging out a place for the teepee every night is no small task, but it's a good workout. There's a stone here. First day of us on the road and whew, it feels amazing. It's around minus 15. We just crossed to the third town of today. Below zero actually. It's pretty easy to cycle and to be and to live out though. But the most difficult time when it goes plus and minus, plus and minus, everything is wet. That is really, really difficult. We are in a town in South Finland called Rihimaki. So we are going to my old friend's house and uh, she's giving us a bed for overnight and a shower and it's really needed. And it would be amazing to see her. having a really warm and nice morning here in the tent but now I have to get out of the sleeping bag so that's a little bit tricky <laughs> always is tricky and it takes ages normal <laughs> doesn't make sense when you are warm <clears throat> to go out of the sleeping bag and out of the tent into the cold oh, cold is really fun and it's, it is, it's challenging it's fun you need to be very careful with the stone, not to bump your face. Okay, good. Beautiful place. Good Morgan. The best thing is to keep your clothes in your sleeping bag during the night, and then they are warm in the morning. Mm. Even if there's a freedom to roam in Finland, which includes a right to camp pretty freely, we sometimes went up to a house to buy some firewood in the evenings and asked if they had a plowed place where we could pitch our tent. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad with making porridge. Cutlet and bread here. Perfect temperature. One burn. Gonna have to be a nice fish cutlet. It's important to have a warm food in this kind of temperature, really. If we wouldn't have a fire, we would either be eating frozen food or we would have to heat the food up like with our body temperature by putting some food in mm. our pockets. You need a fire or some sort of a stove or something definitely. Yeah. That's true. Ready to go to our Lapland. Matilda is already on the way anyway. Whew. 
this is our campsite for tonight. We noticed too late that there is ice under the snow here. So it was pretty difficult to pick down the teepee, but hopefully we managed well enough. It has been really cold the last few days and really humid. The other day it was 100% humidity, which I didn't know could happen unless it's raining and it wasn't snowing or anything. So it felt incredibly cold. Now also my face is really freezing. This is a fantastic fire start to this wood. Terrible wood. Old pine root. This one. It burns amazing. Now I'm looking forward to warming up some pies on the stove and having some warm food. So hungry and cold. So this came just at the right time now. When you're in this kind of condition in north in winter, the best thing is when you have a fire going on, Remember to take a fire starter from this fire for your next fire. That's really important. So when you start your next fire, you have a much more easier job. Oh. I don't want to take this oh, water to the bed, huh? With me. The are also steaming. It feels so good, now it's warm here. I needed it in my toes. Your beard, <laughs> yeah. everything. <laughs> you were really cold. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was getting cold. Yeah, I mean, this, this is. It's really tricky when you get sweaty and then the sweat freezes and your breath makes ice everywhere. It will be scoop it up somehow. Look up. I put more wood on it. Still. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? Yeah, pretty good. There was a moose going around in the backyard. Very cold. When the fire was on, it was good. And inside of a sleeping bag, it was warm. But when it's off, then everything freezes. But luckily we got enough wood last night that we could turn on the stove again in the morning and dry out before we go. Make some porridge for breakfast. Right here, water inside of this bottle is... Ah, it's totally frozen. And we can keep the water overnight inside of this bottle, only inside of the vacuum bottles we can keep water. Today we're going to cycle 25 kilometers to a town called Tampere and then find somewhere to stay and edit the next vlog. We got a lot of messages from you about the next vlog when it's coming but when we are on the road it's a little bit uh, difficult to edit because we need to find now warm place for a few days to edit so but we try our best and don't worry vlogs always will come sooner or later. We ended up staying with lovely warm showers hosts in Tampere and published our last video from the Gambia. Meanwhile, the locals were enjoying the sun and the frozen lake, walking, skiing and skating. So that's the start of our Arctic adventures and our first week on the road. As you can see, it's a lot of building and packing the campsite each day, a lot of frost and drying out equipment in the tent. And did we mention it was cold? 
join us for the next vlog where the adventure continues towards the Arctic and North Cape. You can support our channel and help us produce these videos by liking, sharing and commenting. We will also need to update our cameras and computers, so if you have the opportunity to help us do that, you can join our Patreon, order a postcard or donate to our PayPal. All links are in the description. Thank you!